Whatever people do, according to Machiavelli, they're motivated to minimize harm and maximize benefit to themselves. This concept is known today as psychological egoism. It claims that individuals are driven only by the desire to get what they want, that only his or her own preferences and well-being have any fundamental value. The upper classes, who are few in number, always seek to oppress the lower classes, who are many in number. Likewise, the lower classes always seek to avoid oppression by the upper classes. Machiavelli argues that the ruler raised to princehood by the nobles has a harder time than the man raised to princehood by the people. Machiavelli stresses in earlier sections that a prince should avoid being hated by the people. As the people are of the lower social classes and therefore more numerous, a prince who earns their hate cannot protect himself from so many. However, a prince raised to power by the nobles will be urged by them to oppress the people, precisely what the people do not want to occur. So if the prince does what he's asked by the nobles, he will earn the hate of the people and bring about his own downfall. Moreover, the nobles themselves will often pose a threat to the prince, especially if he does not do as they wish. The prince raised to power by the people has an easier time. Because the people don't want to be oppressed, it's easier for the prince to satisfy them. Moreover, because the nobles are fewer in number, the prince can protect himself from them, especially if he has the support of the people. Machiavelli believes that the interaction between nobles and commoners is universal, as all individuals are motivated by minimizing harm and maximizing benefit to themselves. In fact, the claim about social class is a more specific version of the claim about human nature. The way for individuals in the upper class to minimize harm and maximize benefit to themselves is to oppress and exploit individuals in the lower class. Nobles profit by forcing commoners to work the land without giving them ownership of the land or the products of their labor. Conversely, lower class individuals minimize harm and maximize benefit to themselves by avoiding being oppressed and exploited by the upper classes. The nobles and the commoners have interests that cannot both be satisfied at once. Supporting the interests of one class will automatically subvert the interests of the other. Machiavelli stresses that the hate of the people is more dangerous than that of the nobles. If a prince has to choose which group to anger, anger the nobles. A prince may appoint ministers responsible for actions that will be unpopular. This way, a prince can accomplish necessary tasks and then remove or punish the minister if the people become upset. 